wandering afloat upon water's face, lives the mood of the now, woven rippled and laced. Ripples don't rip quite as much as they sow, wind weaving the up, the here and below. For us now, the here floats in this pond, water's womb welcoming, weaving our bond. Cradled below the ebb and flow of light, a hundred blossom hearts beat their first life. Life first grasped them here to a now, in the hearts of their parents, where love makes life ours. This bond of love that lets life be is the heart of our story, which we shall now see. Let us follow the tale of the rough-skinned newt into the waters where life grows her shoots. the surface when we look upon their lives, a sense of possession lies in their bodies entwined, a desperation and struggle for life to exist, a need for connection that none can resist. Often thought of as a battle for the survival of genes is for me a desire of nature to live beauty through her beings. The violent desperation in which these newts cling to life is nature's deepest desire to bring beauty in amongst light. In a dance that stretches from the heavens to the depths, love is the movement that gives nature its breath. In this ever-morphing motion of earth lightened skin, there is also a stillness which nature lives in. 10,000 phasing melodies 
sing the same silent song. A turning texture of flesh holds this body that is one. And so each spring, this water becomes a womb, a cradle of love in which life can find room. Nature's silent song finds voice within form. The rough-skinned newt is renewed and reborn. Like this, the web of life is made of individual loves, the golden threads that link us all to the earth and to above. To look into the eyes of another life Curiosity looking in upon itself. Within the unfamiliar we recognize a part of us that is also else. A foreign form unlike our own, floating in our time and space. The same life in a different home, peering out from a different face. It is not just us who looks at nature, for nature looks at us. All life has innate perception of whom to love and whom to trust. How we look and how we touch, the lives that we share ours with, will of course decide how much love and trust they have to give. Given the love and given the space, nature will return our trust. It was nature's love that brought us here to walk upon this earth. In the eyes of life, there is a truth older than any of our words. It is the same shared life that lives amongst us, peering out from each of our worlds. To connect with nature is to rejoin our lives with the family of our soul. Only together, a kinship of brothers and sisters, are we completely whole. We all were, and still are, children in water's womb. Delicate droplets of the same rainfall, breathing each other in as we bloom. In amongst the light of sky, we live our lives remembering our cosmic birth, reaching out to touch the being of otherness that deep down we know we once were. Swimming suspended amongst the tides of love, we live life forever new. Only through the eyes of love can life be seen.